If race is one issue driving the protests in Ferguson, socioeconomic disparity may be another, causing an eruption of pain and frustration. If the people with the money and the power and the influence don't patrol it, don't show any interest in it, it's going to continue. But now life has become even harder for some, following the ongoing destruction and looting. Businesses are boarding up. So you guys are closing up? Yeah, we're going to close up. We're going to board it up, pretty much. Until when? We're not going to open up. It's going to be gone. It's done. This beauty supply store was broken into and looted twice in one week. I'm out of a job, you know, and now I have to look and feed my family in a different way. Even shops that haven't been damaged say business has taken a huge hit. One business owner tells us he's lost $1,000 a day, about 60% of his revenue since the unrest began. And there's been rumors that the businesses are going to leave, you know, that the property values are going to go down. One economic expert says the current business climate in Ferguson may be reminiscent of what happened with the L.A. riots in the early 90s, where some businesses never rebuilt and unemployment skyrocketed. Especially when you've got smaller owned businesses as opposed to the big Walmarts and the other chain stores, that as much as they might like to rebuild and as much as they might love their community, they're just not going to be economically able to survive. And that's heartbreaking for a lot of the residents. We still have children here. We still have families here. So it's like you can't destroy everything here and we're here. We need, you know what I'm saying, everything in our community. Young mother Bianca Huff, who lives within eyesight of where Michael Brown was shot, feels her community is spiraling out of control. I think it's going right. to get worse than this. You so, think it's going to get worse? I think it could get worse. Huff worries about what the future holds for her family, especially her three-year-old son, Gregory. You look at your kids like, no, I don't want my child to, you know, to have to go through this as they get older. You want it to be different. Huff wonders, will her son be treated fairly as he grows up? Will her town be able to overcome the destruction? Will her community be able to bridge the racial and socioeconomic divide that appears wider and deeper than ever? Ana Cabrera, CNN, Denver.